Apple recently announced the new iteration of its mobile operating system, the iOS 9, at WWDC 2015. Let's take a look at some of its new features. Here I have the iPad Air 2 with me. As you can see, it has the latest iOS 9. Earlier versions of iOS, such as the iOS 8, took around 4 GB of space. But the new iOS 9 just takes around 1.8 GB. So this should solve some storage problems. Siri's look has been modified and it now looks pretty good. Siri has been integrated with your apps as well. It searches based on your location, search history and time of the day. It also suggests apps to you based on your search. Battery saver or the low battery mode is a pretty good feature. It lets you save a lot of battery and turns on automatically at 20%. I tested it with the iPhone 6. The phone dropped 1% in about 2.5 hours in which I used the phone to make a few calls and took some pictures. This feature is not available on the iPad. This feature is already available on Android devices, so iOS is slowly and steadily getting there. The new app switcher looks neat, but still lacks a kill all button. Now some iPad specific features. Suppose you are already in an app, let's say Safari, swipe from the right, the most recent app will be available, then swipe from the top to see all recent apps. Now let's open notes, swipe that middle button towards the center to resize both the apps. You can work on both the apps simultaneously. Finally, some features that make use of the large screen of the iPad. Video in video. Now pressing the home button when in a video just makes it smaller and still keeps it plain. You can place it in any corner you like. It even keeps playing inside other apps. You can completely access that app and view that video simultaneously. New keyboard. The new keyboard for the iPad has cut copy paste directly available. You can now use a two finger gesture to scroll the cursor, it definitely makes it easier to edit the text. So the new iOS looks a lot better with the new features. They might be inspired from rival operating systems but are implemented better. The iOS 9 is compatible with a lot of devices going from the 4S to the 6 Plus and tablets such as iPad Air, Air 2 iPad 2nd, 3rd, 4th generations, iPad mini 1, 2, 3 and the 5th generation iPod touch. The iOS 9 will be available this fall. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share and like.